Hi guys, so you're new to fishing and you want to learn how to tie your hook onto your fishing line. I'm going to show you a knot called the half blood knot. It's a very basic, easy to learn knot for beginners. Uh, it's the very first knot I learned how to tie and I still use it today. It's a very strong knot and basically all you want to do is grab your tag line and your hook, pass your tag line through the eye of the hook, like that, and then wrap your tag line around your main line five to six times. If you're using heavier than 12 pound line, I would say go with five wraps. If it's 12 pound or lighter, then go with six. So we'll do five here. One, two, three, four, five. Five wraps. And your tag line will go through that loop where my finger is. Like that. And then you just want to tighten. So it's tighten, pull on the main line while you hold your tag line. Now never tighten the knot unless you've lubricated it with a bit of saliva or water to stop any friction which may weaken your knot. So you just tighten and then snip off the tag end. So that's your half blood knot. Very straightforward, very strong knot. Occasionally it can slip, especially on thicker gauge hooks like this. So there's an alternative knot called the locked half blood knot. And I'll quickly show you how to tie that one. Again, same process, pass your line through the eye of your hook and you will do the five wraps like we just did. So one, two, three, four, five. And then you pass your line through your loop near the eye of the hook. And that's created a second loop right here where my finger is. So you grab your tag line and you pass it through that second loop like that. Put your tag line up against the shank of the hook and then you pull them together to tighten. Of course lubricating before you tighten it. It's a little bit trickier because you've got to pull the tag and the main line together. And that's your locked half blood knot. I've had no issues with this knot from slipping. It takes that little extra step but on heavier lines, it's well worth doing. So that's the locked half blood knot and the half blood knot shown. Like I said, very versatile knots. You can use them for tying your line onto your hook. I'll use them for tying swivels on. You can even use them on lures, as long as your lure doesn't require a lot of action. If your lure requires a lot of action, there's uh, better knots to use, which will free them up a bit. I hope this helps guys. I uh, hope you've learned something. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment. I'll try and answer them. And yes, please subscribe. Thank you very much.